guys welcome back to my channel Lissy Builds and um, for today's build it's slightly different um, I saw someone asking for a no they asked I was taking build requests and they asked me and they've also asked a few other people um, on a Facebook group post that I saw um, about doing a build for them but it's slightly different because they are an author and they're trying to see what their build would the, the house in their build would look like you know from obviously what the book describes so the book is called The Thorn in My Side. The draft of it is on Wattpad and there's a video game de demo available Halloween 2021. It'll be called Cracked Trailer and there'll be requests for demos are going fast. Sorry, I'm reading this off the message that was sent. Um, fast, this will start out as a PC horror game to start and then it'll go to virtual reality and it'll be going to Steam Halloween 2021. So it's moving quite fast. Um, where are we? Just trying to find the rest of things. So just the information that is wanting to be shared. So there will be like a cheat sheet for YouTubers who order the demo through the email, which is at walker, O-N-A-L-E-E, -E, at gmail.com. Um, other players won't receive this cheat and the game is very hard. So obviously you're going to learn as you go with any game, but if you want that cheat code, obviously you'd have to order the demo and send an email, but also only 10 people will qualify for this cheat code. 10 YouTubers will qualify for the cheat code um, and they do need to have at least a thousand subs. Um, for the people who don't qualify, there's going to be like Easter eggs um, that you can find within the game. Obviously Easter eggs are also hard to find, but that is the fun of a game. Um, also, Annalie is looking for voice actors for the video game sometime mid-July. Um, will be around the time they're looking for voice actors to participate. Um, oh, another message. Um, she is also going to be doing a raffle on her channel later if the game takes off. The winner will receive free, a free cheat sheet with or without participating in the cheat sheet contest. It's a drawing for small YouTubers and theirs will be shipped out first. To qualify, they must have under 10, 100, under 100, 100 subs and have uploaded at least 20 videos to help promote small channels as well. I'm just going to reread that again. The raffle, so this is from exactly her words. I'm also doing a raffle on my channel later if the game takes off. The winner will receive a free cheat sheet with or without participating in the cheat sheet contest. It's a drawing for small YouTubers and theirs will be shipped out first. But to qualify, they must have under 100 subs, but I've heard but have uploaded at least 20 videos to help promote the small channels that, as well. So just taken off, but only one will win that raffle. Um, so if you're interested, you can again message Annalie at, at walker, W-A-L-K-E-R-O-N-A-L-E-E -E -E at gmail.com. I have actually not read the book. Um, I will be going to read the book. Um, while I'm on my little holiday, that is something I plan because it's on Wattpad, so a thorn in my side on Wattpad currently. Um, so definitely check it out um, and let me know if this build looks anything like it's supposed to. Um, Annalie has seen this build now. It, in her words, is very good. She really appreciates the time and effort I put in. The inside, the garden all looks correct. The roof, I did not do correct. Um, again. I was struggling with the roof. Um, Only knows this. Um, we were like sending pictures back and forth a little bit, um, but I was still confused. Um, but other than that, uh, it looks correct to what um, she is in her book. I was sent like um, descriptions of each room and stuff. Um, and I'm really happy with how the rooms turned out as well because I mean, I got the majority of it, the majority of this build correct to the book. So I'm really happy that I even managed that. Um, so it's only the roof that doesn't look correct but these things can be fixed um, and this should be called a victoria manor but also this build looks like another build she has within her book that the roof matches so let me see if i can find it um ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. with some small changes it looks like a house separate from the manor it's a farmhouse type manor um, da, da, da. where's the rest of it? Do, do, do. Yeah, it's a farmhouse type manor. 
Um, so only small changes will be made and it will look like a different build from the book. So I'm happy that it can kind of go for either. Um, and I had a lot of fun doing this build. Obviously you'll notice that you didn't see me build the shell of this. This is because I, oh, I so much went wrong guys. So I had pretty much the whole build completed and then I, my boyfriend, my fella messed with the computer, clearing stuff out and I lost everything that I'd been working on. So I had to rebuild the whole thing from the beginning. In a way, it's kind of a good job that that happened only because when I kind of sent through pictures of what I was trying to remember of what I'd already done, I actually had the kind of layout of the build wrong, the wrong amount of rooms, rooms in the wrong places. Um, so on only helped me kind of from the pictures I sent, redrew like lines over it to where each room should be what. Um, so we readjusted all that. And then she resent separate descriptions of each room and that helped so much guys this looks so much better than the first build i did but also again you didn't seem to build the shelves because i forgot to record i spent ages thinking i was recording and when i clicked the button to stop recording the screen nothing happened and i was like what's going on why is it not stopping recording and i realized because i had not started recording i got so ahead of myself getting the build started again for the second time but i forgot to record so you kind of miss all of that but i apologize um so what we're doing here we're doing the landscaping but it does mean you get to see a lot of the landscaping and there is also a walkthrough at the end of this build like i do in all my builds so you will see every single room you won't miss anything because some of the rooms again didn't record i did also lose some footage on top of that and also Keeping the build with like under a certain amount of time meant a few little bits had to be cut out so that you won't see me do any of the bathrooms. But again, you will see um, all of this on the walkthrough. So I'm I'm happy with that. This is what's a good thing about walkthroughs. If you lose footage, it's completely fine because people can still see the build, and it also makes it easier to see the build. For example, like while you're doing landscaping, you're just getting little sections of the garden at a time. Whereas when you do the walkthrough, you can kind of see the whole thing. And you can see it kind of becomes more cohesive. Um, Annalie has every pack except for the Island Living pack, which is good because I literally didn't use anything from Island Living, except I accidentally used the two doors, the two doors that I have on the upstairs terrace. Um, I accidentally did use the Island Living doors, but she's planning on getting that pack anyway, so not a big deal. In one of the Facebook groups I'm in, I saw a post on how to make like a curved using um, like a second floor lowered down and I tried it out and it was actually really really easy to do you do have to kind of make that little ground floor tile a little bit bigger for it to fit on change it drag it exchange like the shape of it and everything obviously delete that separate room I dragged it down to the ground but realized I couldn't delete the floor because I'd lose the whole thing so I added like the very low down fence load it down and it's like a circular pool because it's technically a second floor your sim will walk right through it as if it's not there. Um, everything's play tested, it all works well, um, and I'm really happy um, with it. Obviously, while I'm doing this part of the landscaping, you can't see the circle shape, but as we're going in and out of landscaping, you'll see it kind of flicker back and to as I'm going up a floor and down a floor, just to make sure it looks correct. Um, and when you're playing, as long as you have the floor up so you've at least got a second floor while you're in the garden you'll be able to see the curved shape there are plenty of other ways you can make a curved pool but i think this is by far one of the easiest and quickest ways to do it here we are creating a little greenhouse that was in this build again this build will have small adjustments on Annalie's um gallery when she does it um or on her game with which she's doing because she wants to play test it with her characters that she's made um i will ask her when i post this to leave a comment with her gallery id and i'll pin that comment to the top so if you want to find the build and see the adjustments she's made to go with her book you'll be able to see all of that um but overall i'm very happy with how it turned out i'm still learning um and obviously building something without pictures but from like words like if you're taking say a paragraph from a book that's got a description of a room in it and then building that in the sims for me to actually get it to look 
correct, like the rooms to look correct and everything. I am very proud of myself. Um, so yeah, I, I'm glad. I'm glad I took on this challenge. And I'm glad I actually did fairly well with it. On the roof, the roof was the only problem. And I love to roof, but I, I think it was supposed to be more modern and I got a little bit mixed up. Um, because the reference pictures weren't of actual roofs, it was like shapes. I think that's probably what confused me just a little bit. Um, I probably could actually adjust the roof. It'd be fairly easy to delete those roofs and make a more modern one. We'll see what Annalise says. Um, I'm about to go on holiday, so I won't have time to do it till I get back, but I probably could. We'll see, because again, she said it could be work, it could work for the farmhouse she was doing with some slight adjustments. So it's what she wants, and I'm happy with that. That was what my aim was. Um, so here with the garden, it was like oranges, purples, and vibrant colours. Um, it was kind of hard to find all the correct kind of colours because some of them just like some plants that I wanted to use just didn't have the correct colour swatches. But those kind of wildflowers had the purples in. And then like I do a path from the front garden to the back garden again with all those like the stones from debug and then I do the flowers around the edge. But instead of doing the white flowers that I usually did, there's this kind of other flower circular plant and it's like a yellowy orange colour. Um so I went with those. And this is where we get onto it now. I don't you do not see me stone this whole path. I literally do like two or three stones in. And then I'll skip it out. So this is where I do the plants, the flowers around the edge. Um, I didn't think you'd want to sit there and watch me stone the whole thing because it takes me a little bit of a while to get it how I like it with enough gaps between everything. But the flowers only takes a few seconds, especially when it's sped up, to get the plants done that fast because I know they don't automatically copy. If you hold the shift button, plants will automatically copy themselves when you place it and holding the alt button at the same time as the shift button lets you free place everything so it just makes things so much so much faster here we are very close actually to the end of the build i did this room wrong for some reason i thought this was like a pink feminine room it was actually supposed to be like football kind of room when i think football i think like reds and blues um I think that's more like, you know, because of like Liverpool and like Everton and Manu, that's kind of the red, reds and blues, that's kind of their colours. So that's kind of what I went with this room. I know there's many different football teams of many different colours, but red and blue is what I thought worked well for football. Um, and it took me a while. I wanted the same wallpaper as the writer's room. So I kind of kept matching it because I didn't want to use the little copy tool because I'd lose all the packs I had selected which obviously didn't matter because it was only Island Living I didn't have, but at that point, that's what my brain was like. If I click that, it'll like go off, but it's fine. We figured it out. It didn't take me long. Throwing in some curtains. Um, also that room, you saw the kind of pinker, pink floor room from the Island Living. I saved that room to my gallery. Um, so if you do like that room and want it in one of your builds, you can just go onto my gallery and download it as a room. Um, I didn't, uh, that was actually on Lee's idea. I had actually thought of it. Um, but yeah, she gave me the idea to down, um, upload it as a room, so I've still got it saved and I might use it in a different build. Um, but if you do want to use that room, go for it, download it, do whatever you want with it. Um, you can also change swatches and stuff if you download this build if you want to. It depends what you're really used to play with. Um, but I like how this room turned out because I thought even though this like room is like a female kind of into football, I have friends that like football and I still like you know, looking in mirrors and doing makeup and stuff. So I kind of kept a little bit of that in the room too. If you have got this far, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell button because you'll be notified every single time I upload. And here's the final build. I'm thinking I probably should have added some flower baskets to the backyard and side walls, but it's fine. So very floral, very vibrant. Went down a floor extra by mistake. So we go into the main hallway. That empty room there is a pantry and I really have no idea what is supposed to go in a pantry. I tried looking up pictures but it just wasn't, it wasn't like, I couldn't think of something to do in there. Um, so if you do want to add something to that room, you could have an extra door and get rid of the kitchen door. Maybe make it a bedroom or a living room or something if you want to. Um, or you, if you know how to make a pantry, you can make a pantry. But I, I figured it was best to leave it em empty than do it incorrectly. Then we go upstairs and we start off. So this is like a goddess type room. 
so I kept it quite feminine, very pretty, I used vintage glamour. This room was for a writer, um, so I went with like seasons because they like dark wood tones, and then back to the footballer's room with the reds and some blues. Then we have got, this room is like a little nursery, so I kept, um, I put a toddler bed in there too. Then this room is Japanese style for a doctor, the computer vanished but you can throw a computer in no problem. And then this room was for a scientist who loves the colour like purples and they have their own ensuite. And the computer disappeared from that room too but you can use any computer from the, that you have when you download. So into the back garden, I go up a floor here just so you can see my circular pool. There you go, my little curved edged pool, nice and neat. Um, obviously if you download this build, you will have to plant the seeds in the greenhouse yourself. They are fruit and veg seeds. Um, I figured it would be there to grow. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out another video, hit the link on either side. Or to subscribe, hit the one in the middle. Thank you.